Ayul Ahbab, the intention, the niyyah, and ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are imperative in every act of worship. And it is, in fact, a condition for our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for our, to have our deeds accepted from the two conditions, the first being ikhlas lillah, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you worship Allah tabarak wa ta'ala alone. And the second condition, ayyul ahbab, is that it the action and the act of worship is in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. And in a narration, which was reported by Ibn Abi Dunya, rahimahullah ta'ala, one of our salaf who is well known for his many treatise, treatises on the aspects of raqaiq, matters of the heart, and issues of ikhlas and sincerity and speaking about sin and a, and a lot of important issues pertinent to the heart. He said in this narration, and as far as the authenticity of the narration, I'm not sure about the authenticity. However, the meaning is what we can derive from this Hadith that he narrated, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Qala haddathana Abu Musa al Harawiya, Ishaq ibn Ibrahim, Qala haddathana Amru ibn Jabbar, Abu Muawiyata Sanjari, Ibn Ukhti Ubaidata ibn Hassan. Qala haddathana Ubaidata ibn Hassan. Hassan an Abd Rahman ibn Thabit ibn Thawban Mawla Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Hadathana Abi an Jiddi Qala shahidtu ma'a Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yawmin majlisin Faqal Tuba lil mukhlisin Ulaika musabihu dujja Tachajalla anhum كل فئنة ظلمة قال حواريون لعيسى عليه السلام ما ما الإخلاص لله قال الذي يعمل العمل لا يحب أن يحمده عليه أحد من الناس قالوا فمن المناسح لله قال الذي يبدأ بحق الله قبل حق الناس إذا عرض عليه أمراني أحدهما للدنيا والآخر للآخر للآخرة بدأ بأمر الله قبل أمر الدنيا. It was reported by Ibn Abi Dunya or collected by Ibn Abi Dunya رحمه الله تعالى. He said after mentioning the narrators, he said. Uh, that Abdurrahman ibn Thabit ibn Thoban, who was the Mola of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that my, my father reported on his grandfather, who said that I witnessed with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one day in a sitting, in a gathering. And then he said, meaning the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Give glad tidings to those people who are sincere, the mukhlisin. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Those who are the light or lamps in the darkness. And every, they are a source of light during every kind of fitna, every kind of trial and darkness. And then Ibn Abi Dunya, he said, قَالَ حُوَارِيُونَ لِعِيسَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ 
he said that the companions of Isa, alayhi salatu wasalam, they said, they asked, what is ikhlas lillah? What is sincerity to Allah? And he said, alayhi salam, that which, or it is the person who does a deed that he does, he is not, he does not love that he is praised for it by anyone from amongst the people. And then they said, who is the one who is the one who gives advice for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Al-Munasih. He said, alayhi salatu wasalam, the one who begins with the rights, the right of Allah before the right of the people. And if those two affairs come at the same time, meaning the right of the people and the right of Allah, then, and between the this life and the hereafter, then this person begins with the right or the affairs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the affairs of this dunya, of this worldly life. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.